It's not as loud in here as it is out there. <laughs> is that a good horn on my car? On my golf cart? It's hysterical. <laughs> That's too bad it's quiet in here, but it's very loud outside, I'll tell you. Are you, are you turning the camera? Outside, I'll tell you. Are you are you turning the camera? They say you love your horn. Huh? They say you love your horn. Yes. When is that? Uh, all this. We have one envelope to open. And no boxes. So get your questions ready. It's gone. to open and I don't lean on the Dining room area, right also. I'll be behind this camera. Oh. What well, is the. That's the heavy duty one. The Explore yeah. camera's on the stool? No, no, no. no it's be, the stool's behind the Explore camera. So why? Why is the Explore camera there? Is you that want me to take the other one back? Because it's looking at the numbers, probably. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's wonderful. No Thank you. Laura, yeah. do you want me to take the other one back? Nope. Okay, okay. perfect. Bailey's gonna get the mail. Here she goes. Oh, you got two more. There you go. One, two. You got it. You have a different kind today.
There we go. One more bite. Hey. Don't lick the leg. Why does he do that? She does that every time. Me? No. <laughs> she licks. She'll take it in her mouth. I'll put it in her mouth. Put it, and the last spoonful, she licks it and gets it all over the floor. Well, I didn't like that one. Cedar Park on Thursday. She's yeah. going to be there. Her picture is not a graph. So <laughs> picture is not a graph. <laughs> Trying to get on the roller coaster. Yeah. All right, guys. Have fun. Thanks. Bye, guys. Oh, um, Colleen's coming to pick Walter up at 6 o'clock. Oh, okay. So he'll be gone at 6, so the crying will stop at 6. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here you go. And we have poop pickers and a couple bucks here. Okay. So we have a chicken brick and the fun fun. And some, and some shoe pickers. It flew here first class. Huh? It flew here first class. Wow. Okay. Okay. We did. That's the whole mail call today. Yeah. Then watch your chicken brick. Well, that's got to go in here, and then we'll deal with that tomorrow. And that's going in the. That's the end of mail call. Already. Whoa. There's there no boxes. There's one. One letter. Ah. Oh. And no boxes. At least yet. I don't know. Like, FedEx may not have come yet or whatever, but okay. What's for dinner? Flank steak. Is that the really thin steak? It's it's about that thick. It's a great big slab of something, and then you cut it at an angle so it's chewable. Um, With a whole bunch of vegetables. What will you name your new horse? I don't know. He just got here. He hasn't had a chance to name himself yet. I think 33 is too hard to say. 33? Yeah. yeah. Three? Yeah. After he rolled, you could go with, like, pig pen from Charlie Brown. <laughs> He's all dirty now. <laughs> he, he arrived very clean. Mm. He's cute. He is very cute. He's got one dark, dark eye. Kind of cool. Watch eyes. So you, horses have what they call watch eyes. Tell you. What's that? Nothing. Horses have watch eyes. Watch eyes. They're, they're, they're just entirely people. funny. They're too much white or too much blue or they're just not, not right. Well, they work fine. Yep. And there's an old horseman something or other about he'll never go blind in a watch eye. Oh, that's good. I don't know why that... I, I've had horses with watch eyes. They've been fine. That's all the questions? No. Oh. Um, tell us about your new horse. Well, actually, you can see the horse on Facebook. It's the Strain Family Farm, S-T-R-A-I-N, Family Farm, on Facebook. And then they list the horses. They have a photograph of the horses. And this is a Pinto with three white legs, and his left front leg is black. And I think he's number 33. And you can click on it. And at the moment, you can click on it out there, and you'll see a video of him performing. And he just seems to move very much like Bentley. His joints are all, he's just as, 
his he he's high headed as opposed to 40. This guy carries his head up so that you don't feel like you're going to go over his head. Like you're riding Mary or something. <laughs> Thoroughbreds are inclined to carry their head down. When it, I don't like that. But I don't want to know his name. You don't have a name. Don't have a name yet. Um, Harley G. Who? Harley G. Short for giraffe. Yeah, they're all wanting that you should name it G. G? G Hall. <laughs> Someone just finished reading Janine's book. Oh, good. If we lose power, do we have backup generators? Yes, in the barn we have an immediate backup generator, which keeps the air conditioning or the heat going. Um, out here on the front porch, we have an electric start generator. You got to go out and turn the key, and. In the laundry room down there, we have a pull chain generator. That's all I know. Aside from that, we have inverters in all the cars and trucks. So you can run one light bulb here and there. Which starlets are in the house tonight? Audrey. Who, oh, Bing? Vivian. And, and Vivian. Vivian? Okay. She thought of taking Vivian home. Needs a little more leash training. How many spirit sticks do we have? Oh, probably a dozen. We have also a whole bunch of sticks here because people started sending me pictures without sticks and so I picked up a bunch of sticks at Home Depot. Um, where is Gabby? I don't know. Lynn. Merlot. Oh, Lynn Merlot. She's with, um, she's in New Hampshire with Lynn, who was our, on our old board of directors. She had Merlot. Or has Merlot. Has. Babe. Babe? Mm-hmm. Yes, it's no L, it's not space. Yeah. Uh, I think you already answered this, but how is your ankle? Ankle's getting better. I did not put my boots on today, though. They got stuck on my foot yesterday a little bit. It's still swollen, big time. Did you hear what she did to her ankle? Uh, is this a new injury, or is this the one from a few weeks ago? A couple weeks ago. What are you tiptoeing around about out there? I clean the floor in the kitchen. <laughs> Is the beautiful horse, new, uh, the new horse, male or female? Male. Gelding. And it looks like he's going to get along with Lincoln. Yeah, they were very interested in each other. Because they tried to line up next to each other with the old, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. <laughs> You know, where they, they sort of nuzzle each so other's funny. withers and then they hit a spot they, that, that it itches so then they both scratch each other's back. And it's, it's really, the communication between them is, it's fun to watch. And then they stand head to tail so that the flicking of the tail gets the other guy's face, you know. Oh yeah, that, that's about all they're capable of figuring out. Um, is Gabby a service dog? Who? Gabby. She's going to her breeding, isn't she? She's breeding. Have you seen the goat video yet? I, stop sending me. <laughs> I've seen a lot of goat videos. I don't know what one they're talking about. I'm not going to get goats. I've had goats. They're a pain in the neck. They're cute for somebody else to own, but they are awful. I saw this video where they're in pajamas and they're running around. It's hysterical. That's funny. Good. Enjoy it. <laughs> My had a wild little goat. Oh, she'd just get up and the head tilted and she'd come at you. <laughs> you'd be like, 
that cute. <laughs> She's naughty. Yeah. Um, when do you want the extra mail? Well, we, we need it the 8th. Yeah, the 8th through 10th. 8th through 10th, yep. Did you get hit with any of the bad weather today? No, apparently it, it rained a little bit here. <coughs> it was pouring. It was pouring? It was pouring for a little bit, yeah. yeah. I think I must have slept through that part because I didn't know it. I never saw it. Yeah, it's right when I got picked up from school. It started pouring. There is a tornado watch until 11 p.m. Here? Yeah. Wow. It's it's funny outside. It is. I don't know exactly how to describe it, except it's funny. Yeah. It's, it's hot. Crazy. Muggy. It's hot. Oh. It is weird. Um, have we officially decided to call the new T, the new tent, the G tent? The G tent, Sorry. yeah. G T. Yeah. That's good. I have a dog food question. I have a dog that I have recently started feeding wet food. From your experience, do you recommend mixing it with wet and dry? I just, <coughs> just started feeding wet food? Well, I... If you read the label on the cans and read the label on the bags, it's pretty much the same stuff with water added. So the cans are basically like 78% water mixed with dry food. So it, it's no big deal. They can make the texture different and the dogs think it's better and stuff, but it, it's really pretty much the same stuff, usually. Did you say Noelle wasn't pregnant? Huh? She certainly is. She had one puppy that did not make it. She's not pregnant. <laughs> not at the moment. <laughs> she won't come into heat for a while. No, six months. Shouldn't Opal be coming into heat? She should be. I don't know why she's not. We're waiting. Who are you gonna do her with? I don't know. She waits long enough that the dog from the Netherlands will be bold enough. That's all? Mm -hmm. Oh. You could turn it off now and eat supper? Do you have any stories to tell? Oh no. I don't think so. All right, I'll ask you if you had an animal and you can tell the story about it. Oh my word, go I ahead. I have to think of an animal now. All right, I think I might know the answer to this one, but I just felt I should ask. Have you ever worked with giraffes? Not worked with one, no, I've met them. Uh, Bob Comerford down in Goshen, Connecticut has a wild variety of, he has a giraffe. He used to bring it up to the Topsfield Fairgrounds. It's a, it's a, it's a difficult thing to move a giraffe, um, but they do it. Um, Bob Comerford is the one that had several elephants too. I think I've told the elephant story about how he kept them in one area of the barn, they were chained by one leg to the back or whatever, you know, and that's was their stall area. And they watched the guy turn on the water every night and how they'd carry over the buckets and give it to them and things like that. And one elephant got loose one night and went over and turned the water on. Oh. And he found that if he took a hold of that thing that was making water, he could pull it and then water came out of the wall. And then he wanted to see where the water was coming from so he put the wall down and pulled up some pipe and pulled up some pipe and pulled down the wall. And Hundred thousand dollars worth of damage. Ah! Oh, no. Yes. Yes. Having a good time. Wow. That's pretty. That, that's pretty weird. All right. People say, "Wouldn't you like to have an elephant?" Well, yeah. Except they're you smart. really got to be prepared to know what you're doing. They are smart. They're very smart. Yeah. yeah. 
and they're social groups. They you don't keep one elephant. Yeah, they they like they're they're family, they're family groups. Yeah. Except for the male. I don't think the males are in the family group. I think they're they're extremely bad and difficult to deal with. How are the guinea hens doing? Guinea hens are fine. We may have another litter of guinea hens. I think, I think our guinea hen is sitting on eggs. Now, whether they're going to hatch or not, I don't know. That kind of depends on whether the second guinea hen is a boy or a girl, which we can't figure out. But she's sitting on eggs. She also gets up to eat, which I didn't really think they did. I would think her eggs would cool off while she's up chasing food. I don't know. We'll see what happens. What are you doing? Did you tell them about the Audrey Vivian training today? What's this? Audrey and Vivian training today. We did that today. We're learning. We are learning. They are learning something to walk on a leash. So I put the figure eight on them. Right around their neck and then around their girth. So that when we jiggle it, it we're jiggling the girth, not just their neck. And it's, come on, here we go, you know. They're doing very well. Once in a while, they'll back up into it and get, uh, and then they say, oh shit, that doesn't work, and then they go forward. When they back up, do you just stand firm? You don't pull forward and you don't let go? Is that no, don't, don't let go. That's a bad thing. And you can't, you can't go with them because they're so upset by now that they'll think you're chasing them. So you have no choice but to just stand there. Yeah. And, and maybe pull them to you a little bit and relax it. Pull them to you and relax it. But you can't go forward because you're gonna terrify them. Because they don't know why they're trapped in this thing. They don't understand it. So what you want them to do is to just knock it off and try and understand what's happening here. And they say, oh, I go forward and it doesn't pinch, you know. Who are left for breeders? Did you write them all down? Yep. Oh, uh, good. <laughs> well, well, they, they why asked, did you read them then? <laughs> they asked. I don't, I think I have all of them. I don't know. Go ahead. Okay, so for female, we have Opal, Mariah, Noel, Gussie, and Kiara. And Scarlet and Misha. Oh, yeah. Okay. Scarlet and Misha. I don't know who we're going to breed them to, but we got them. Oh, Misha's the problem on Scarlet. We can breed them back to Bentley. Is Merlot having no more? She's spayed. Merlot oh, okay. is spayed. Noel is the one that may be spayed. I don't know. She, she, she's had three and four and then one dead one. Yeah. And she's not doing real well. Oh. Who are the guys? Um, for males, we have Gromit, Leroy, Walter, Bentley, Yellow, Bumpy. Is Molly still in it? Who? Marley. The guy who visited for Mariah. You tried with, yeah, the one you tried with Mariah. From Maine or someplace? The uh, one you thought was back. St Stewart's or something? Well, so the Stewart's the Stewart's dog. That's that's in top Oh. Um, the Stewart's dog is Bumpy's brother, I think, and I prefer Bumpy's uh, confirmation. But the Stewart's dog got the damn fat. It's it's hard to hard to see it, but. Right with your nose? <laughs> it gets me down there. <laughs> left handed. Are you left handed? No. You left we have a lot of left handed around here. Yeah. Grace? There are a couple more. Who else? <laughs> Smiley. Smiley's a lefty? I think so, yeah. 
There were a couple. There were everybody. Oh, Donna. Yeah. Donna. That's a lot. It seemed to me everybody in the house the other day was lefty, but me. Huh. I'm the only lefty in my family. Should I put Marley on here? He is available. Yeah. You spell Marley M R E. I mean M A R L E Y. Correct. So I'll read the list again. Female. <laughs> Opal, Noel, Mariah, Gussie, Kiara, Scarlett, and Misha. And then for males, we have Bromit, Walter, Bentley, Yellow, Leroy, Bumpy, and Marley. Yeah. I think so. Go ahead. Hold it up. Do we have a couple more questions? Who? Um, is anyone going to the Ipswich Farmer's Market? No. Oh! And Gabby. I forgot Gabby. Gabby, right. <sighs> Ruins your column. Yeah. <laughs> somebody would pay for advertising in on a TV show like this. Yeah. It's good stuff. It, yeah, except you know, they don't stop they do it right the first time, see. <laughs> All this you know, we don't do that. <laughs> what you see is what you get. There you go. Now try. It. My favorite wine name is 15 Hands. 15 Hands? Her favorite. Well, I didn't hear that part. Her favorite. Wine. Wine? 15 Hands? That's a, man, that's a wine? She's 15 3. Only left handed people are in their right minds. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my. <laughs> Oh, save that one for Steve. <laughs> uh, she said, I got 15 bricks for 15 lefties. Really? Well, that's very good. Those bricks are so critical. Does the lady that had Luna still have the service dog that was retired back to SDP? Okay, start it again. The woman who had Luna. Luna? Does she still have the retired service dog? Yes. Luna. The woman who had Luna. Really? Sunday, 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 Sunday 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 as Tess. What 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 Luna got to do with it? She oh, she, she had Luna first. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I had Luna. You know? How come? <laughs> Etc. Um, Tess is doing fine. Is that what I'm supposed to say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tess, Tess is fine. Great. Having a wonderful life. Um, are you going to use one of the female duchies as a breeder? We're going to bring them all along as service dogs and maybe get a litter or two out of them before we give them away. Because if we bring them along as service dogs and then 
had them have puppies at like 18 months, they can still be out service their dog before the other two. Um, where can we see a picture of all the spirit sticks that have been sent in? No place right now. <laughs> They're in a box in the back room. I've had them all up in front at one point or another. But I don't have a I don't have a board yet that's long enough to have them all displayed at the moment. There will be by the time we get to dog fest. That camera. Why is that camera there? It's on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't even know it was on. It's taking a picture of the wall. Hopefully, it's the wall. No, we can see Kelly. You can. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sad. I wish I knew that. <laughs> well, turn it around. <laughs> Shove it in the other room. See, I'll show you, Kelly. Oh, just, no, don't save me. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. Okay, <laughs> the thing you have to know about that camera, is, and it's crazy, but the, you open the drapes thinking you're going to give it more light, so it'll be, no, it's the exact opposite. You have to shut the drapes, and then the camera will open itself up. So I should shut these? Huh? I should shut these? Yeah, they're open too far, so making the camera too dark. That's kind of crazy, but that's the way life is. Where is Bumpy? Bumpy is with Megan's friend Hillary. They're asking you about goats and PJs again. Goats? Forget it. Or you have to think of, think of a crazy animal that you would have had. Fair. Do you have a ferret? Ferret. I have not. I, I have not had ferret of my own. I have borrowed ferrets to do commercials. Really? To do oh, yeah. what? Oh yeah. I've got, uh, I used to go to Danvers Animal Hospital. Uh, the, the people down there have some weird animals, and I used to borrow their animals to go. And they give me a they give me an index card with the directions on what you did. You know how you handled the animal. And that's really how I was. That's all I knew about some of these animals I got was this index card. I remember the iguana. I don't care for iguanas, but I had to <laughs> I had to handle this damn iguana. And the index card, she said, stick your hand out and make your arm like a limb and he'll get on it. Ugh. Which he did. But they always told me exactly what to do and if I followed exactly, and okay, now I got the iguana on my arm. Now I don't do <laughs> You know, things like that. And there was one that was even worse. I had a skunk. Oh I took my. a skunk in. She gave me the card, do this, this, this. I said, fine, and I did all these things. And I bought the skunk back, and I came. I was in a studio in Boston, a big studio. You, this is a good one. And after it was all over, everything was fine, everything was fine. I come back with the skunk, and I'm giving it to her, and I said, it's always nice to know somebody with a descented skunk. And she said, it's not descended. <laughs> <laughs> But I had done exactly what she said to do on that card, so I didn't have any problem. But I could have smelled up that all. I could have had it all. That could have went in a different direction. Oh. What? How would you even decent the skunk? Well, they, it's, it's, they sort of anal glands type stuff. They just take them out. What commercial was a ferret in? Oh, a lot of them. I did several. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> I did several. They're weird. They can get anywhere. That's correct. That's correct. And in the studio, you have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> have you worked with cats? Cats? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you do with cats? cats? A lot of cats. They always want a cat sitting on a window sill. There was one, um, what the hell was it? It's a movie. Next Stop Wonderland? Wonderland? I think it came out, may have come out with a different name even. Next Stop Wonderland. At any rate, this husband and wife were arguing and going to get divorced or whatever, and, and it was one of these, it's your cat, no, it's my cat, and it passed the cat back and forth. And back. So I had this cat, it was actually belonged to somebody at Danvers Animal Hospital, and um, it was a nice cat, very nice, back and forth, back and forth. And then they wanted a picture of it sitting outside the door in the rain, outside the, 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 you know, the door, the door to their apartment type thing. And I found out that if I tucked the cat in really well and ran 
rain down off a cliff, I could control the cat. The cat wouldn't go through the the, the curtain of rain. Oh, my cat. Oh my gosh, so she was out in the thunderstorm. She loves rain. Really? She's the weirdest <laughs> cat. She, she likes to go out in the rain and just sit there. I'm like, what are you doing? That's weird. She's that so weird. Problem. That would have been a problem. She just loves the rain. She comes in soaked, her fur is all wet. She do you put the camera just like right there, or do you put it on the other side with it? Oh no, right there. Okay. Just keep your eye on the cord. You, you know, you don't want it to get too tight. Um, have you worked with bunnies? A lot of bunnies. I feel like those those types of animals are hard to work with. Huh? I feel like those types of animals are hard yeah. to work with. Well, they, most of the time they just want them sitting somewhere. That was a one of the bunny ones was with Pat Paulson. He started with one bunny in his lap, and then he put a second bunny in his lap, and then he had two on his shoulders, and oh. filled the whole, filled the whole room up with bunnies. Oh. I had borrowed them from a bunny, a meat breeder up in Maine. Oh. So no, sad. I needed a hundred, a hundred white rabbits. They have, you know, they. Did something. you, did you have tons of, eng? Oh, flowers and chintzia? Huh? And, I don't know, it's a weird flower. Flowers have weird names. I don't have flowers. And echinacea? Ready? E C H I N A C E A. Echinacea. Echinacea. What's that? It's like a supplement to herbal. Supplement? Yeah. Purple cone flowers. Oh, they help with allergies, skin infections, and immune for both human and dogs. Right. <laughs> no, I haven't done that. What was the question? I'm just curious. Do you have that? Oh, She's just trying to have grass. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to plant crab grass out there, crying out loud. You should have green. Yeah. Are we done? Have you done anything with butterflies? Uh, of course, butterflies, yes. Yes, there's a guy out in, that's the kind of thing I did. There's a guy out in Westford who has a butterfly museum sort of thing. It's a, <laughs> it's a great sort of glass house deal, and he, he does all kinds of butterflies. and. I borrow butterflies from him, and what the way he gives them to you is in a corsage box. He gives you one butterfly in a corsage box, and you keep them in a cooler. And they all just are very set sleepy, and they just sit in the cooler. And when you want them to, to flutter by or whatever, you take them out of the cooler, and you put them on the limb, and you put the, the light on them, which warms them up a little bit, and they spread their wings, and they fly. And you capture them, put them back in the cooler, and I have a question. Yeah. So I now have a dove. A dove? In my front yeah. yeah. It's got on its leg, it's got a band, so it evidently oh, really? used to belong to somebody. Yeah. And I called Animal Control and they said, Oh yeah, we'll come and get it, but they never did. Yeah. So what do I feed this dove and is it gonna live for a while? Oh, it'll live for a long time. Yeah? And what do I feed it? You see them, you see, I, would, I would think it's just bird seed sort of corn, cracked corn stuff. Most, most birds live on that kind of stuff. Um, bird seed, put out some bird seeds, see the eat You see them in the highways. You see them in the highways, picking up little bits of gravel, because I think they need gravel in their stomachs to grind up whatever it is they ate. I, I don't know, but that's what I'm assuming. We had a dove once at yeah. our my old barn. Yeah, I've had, I've had doves. Called the joy. The whole business about you know how at a wedding they. That's what out. he said. Probably you've had a wedding. It just got. No. Well. Didn't go home. No. It, that's not a dove. Maybe that's maybe a pigeon. No, it's a dove because the animal control came and saw it, but he couldn't. Well, at any rate, the, what they throw up in the air at at weddings is not a dove. Yeah. Because if you throw a dove up in the air and fall down the ground, walk off. <laughs> That's not what you want to have happen. Whoa. So usually those are white homing pigeons. 
And I had I had fifty or so here. Well, that's interesting. That's good to know. They want to know if you can show them how to do a figure eight on a dog. Sure. Give me a dog. Okay. Question. Well, I'm going to get a dog. Um, who would you like, Audrey? I don't know a dog. A dog. Can you do a big dog, or does it have to be a little dog? A big dog. Anything. Okay. Come over here with your leg. <laughs> You're it. There we go. Okay. Um, so <coughs> let's assume that this is the neck, right? This is the neck of dog. So we now have just a plain noose around the neck, right? And then you continue on. It falls that direction, and you come back here, and this is around the front legs, and then you put it up through here, <laughs> like that, and you go, oops, it slid sideways. But this part is back behind the front legs, and that's around the neck. And the legs are sticking down here. Isn't that fun? You see, I can, you know? No, she has control of my leg. <laughs> It works. There we go. Um, do you have any dogs with allergies? If they do, I don't pay attention to them. Every once in a while, Bailey turns bright red underneath, and she's allergic to something, I'm sure. But we don't do an awful lot about it. Um, do you get a credit at the end of the movies for the work you've done? Yeah. Yeah. Animal yeah, episodes. It's been there. Uh, doves are bottom feeders. They eat off the ground just like regular birds eat. Yeah. Oh, that's good to know because she's been, is the curb on the street and she's been eating off the curb. Yeah. They, they, there's something about the street and the gravel or something too. Yeah. But yeah, they, 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 yeah, I put out regular birds eat and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> They sent you grass videos. Huh? They sent you a grass video. A grass video? But it's not real grass. It's like miniature golf grass. Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't have that kind of grass here. No, it's not even grass, it's plastic. Oh. Okay. We don't have that here either. Is it raining now? Okay, done. I want to play with my plank stick. You can go play with. Uh, yep. You can go play with your food. Okay. okay. Hey, Laura, can you tell me what that camera is looking at in there? I Two seconds. Have, I could have it looking at the ground. Ah! I went the wrong way. Mm. My camera is coming to you, Kelly. Okay. Oh, Colleen. Mike. The mic is on. I'm going to turn the mic off. Bye, guys. Whoop.